What's up with it Raider Nation? It's your boy Raider Honcho and I'm back with a brand new video for you. Alright guys, get right into it. You already know the vibes. You already know what type of time I'm on. If you're not a subscriber to the channel, well damn. Subscribe to the channel, man. Hit me up on Instagram and Twitter, both at Raider Honcho. Don't forget to check out RaiderHoncho.com. If you want to support the channel, think about hitting that link in the description, man. Become a member today. It helps the channel. It helps me. helps everybody. It's a win-win, man. Um, but let's get right into the content, man. I saw a little clip um, uh, yesterday about Josh McDaniels, and he was talking about Derek Carr and... and, and if he's the guy they're looking for, if he's the guy to build around. And I just want to give a little reaction to the stuff he's saying because I think there's a lot to be said there or there's a lot to, to unpack even in a couple words. Man, if they say a picture is worth a thousand words, well then, damn, what's a video worth, right? So I'm watching the video and I'm hearing what the man is saying. And it sounds like he's saying, well, this is what he said. He's saying they want to build around Derek Carr. Everything they want is right there in place at the quarterback position. And then they start talking about a contract. And it sounds like um, he's saying that Derek Carr has to do what's best for his family. And the Raiders have to do what's best for the team. So it sounds like to me what I'm hearing is that Derek Carr is our guy. Derek Carr is definitely somebody we want to build around. But, however, he's not a guy we're going to overpay. That's just what I got from it. It sounds like he's saying... That Derek Carr is going to want what he wants for him and his family. We're going to want and offer what we want to offer based on what's good for our franchise. And there has to be a sweet spot in the middle that they can agree on. So to me, it sounds like Derek Carr is going to do his due diligence to get what kind of money he thinks he deserves. And the Raiders are going to do what they're supposed to do and give the kind of money they can afford in order to still be able to build a roster around Derek Carr. And I think that's what I really like about this franchise and the direction it's going in. And on Twitter, you know, I asked the question, am I the only one that feels like that the Raiders are a few pieces away. And everybody thinks pieces away are players, and we've always been a few pieces away, but some of those pieces away that we were, were GMs, were head coaches. And I think we've actually filled those positions very well. I love the uh, direction that the team is going in. It feels like we have competent people in the right decisions. Now, I remember last year when, um, you know, Gruden bought in, uh, Gus Bradley and all these different things and he bought in different coaches here and there and everybody says Oh, I think he's bringing in coaches that that are gonna stand up to him And I said at the end of the day John Gruden is always bringing in yes men John Gruden is always gonna bring in people that are gonna bow down to him and submit to his every need and want And I believe that's what Gus Bradley did. I believe Mike Mayock did that to a certain extent John Gruden was the anchor that was holding the Raiders back. I said it before and I'll say it again that Yes, did losing John Gruden affect the Raiders negative? Yes, it did affect them negatively because he was everything that was holding the Raiders together. Now, with that being said, it doesn't mean that once you have the initial impact of losing a John Gruden and what he brings to the organization and what he brought to the team, that things can't get better. And obviously, things have gotten better. Things are in the right direction because now you're bringing in competent bodies and competent football minds that can kind of steer the ship in the right direction. Now, John Gruden leaving hurt us in a sense of stability. We still lost stability there. And when you lose stability, it's going to get a little chaotic. But now we have a little stability going when you talk about what Josh McDaniels is doing, when you talk about what Dave Ziegler is doing. You're talking about them bringing in competent people to get the job done these are guys that are not afraid to delegate power and delegate responsibility and that's what you need in a coaching staff even me as a coach i have to trust my linebacker coach i have to trust my lineman coach even though i'm the dc i have to be able to trust the guys i'm delegating my information and my power to and my responsibilities to and i think we got those guys in place so i just thought it was it was kind of it was kind of good to see Josh McDaniels speak on a Derek Carr shit with so much transparency because I feel like John Gruden was always tongue-in-cheek speaking out both sides of his neck. So I do appreciate what Josh McDaniels is doing, uh, talking about we want Derek Carr here. We want to build around Derek Carr. The proof is in the pudding when you bring in Devontae Adams. So I just like everything about what this organization is doing right now. Not saying that that's going to uh, accumulate to more wins or, or less losses, but... I mean, at some point, you got to like what's going on and believe that there's a culture shift going on right now. And I do believe that's what's happening right now in Vegas. So all I need you to do 
Let's get, get down in the comments. Let me know what you think, man. Let me know what you think about the comments that Josh McDaniels had over the weekend uh, regarding Derek Carr. Let me know what you think about the direction this team is going in and if you feel like it's in a positive direction. And, uh, yeah, man, get down in the comments and just speak your mind, man. I don't mind now. I'm probably not going to agree with it. And after with the shit I saw last night with Will Smith smacking Chris, I, I don't know what's going on right now. But I'm just, I, that ain't got shit to do with nothing, okay? It ain't got shit to do with nothing. But get down in the comments, man. Let me know what you think about whatever you want. Let me know what you think about. Uh, if you like the video, like the video. If you like the content on the channel, please subscribe to the channel. As always, Ray the Honcho out.